Good afternoon, you are now watching the news at 2. Mental health problems are common but there is hope for sufferers to recover. This was said by Welfare Community Wellbeing, Women, Family and Childhood Development Minister Dato Sri Fatima Abdullah advising that the public needs to understand and be equipped with the relevant knowledge and skills on how to respond and deal with mental health issues. Fatima expressed her worry when looking at the police statistics on suicide cases in Sarawak, which has increased to 55 cases from 46 cases whereby a total of 159 men and 34 women had committed suicide in Sarawak. She further added multi-sectoral state suicide prevention strategy needs to be developed in Sarawak to curb this increasing yet worrying trend. Sarawak Teachers Union STU has called on the government to pay attention to the welfare of teachers, especially in terms of allowances. Commenting on the low allowance given to school wardens, STU President Mackie Joseph pointed out that existing allowances need to be reviewed and should be increased to help reduce the burden of teachers due to the rising cost of living. Mickey added STU has always put high hopes on the government to care about the welfare of teachers and students in Sarawak, which include the physical condition of school buildings as well as basic infrastructure facilities such as electricity, clean water and road, and internet access. Meanwhile, the organization hopes the Education Ministry will be able to efficiently distribute the allocation for education throughout Malaysia. The Sarawak government has set up nine village expansion schemes in the Daro district under the Sarawak Land and Survey Department. According to Daro Assemblyman Safi Ahmad, the overall nine schemes involve 1,695 residential lots, including the community building, adding that 69 more lots are currently in progress and will be distributed on November 20, 2019. The SPK program, he said, aims to provide more organised resettlement and complete basic amenities. He further said a Sarawak government has taken the initiative to establish a power supply project using a grid system that supplies electricity from various power sources as the increase in population will involve the increased use of basic facilities such as water and electricity. And that's all for now. I'm Odun Katani. Stay tuned for more news at TV Strawak anytime, anywhere.